Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Thailand and welcome to Worm Bin Weekend's Week 22. Yes, the real Week 22. Now this week, boy, I'm going to tell you what, our weather, it's still been crazy. We are seeing 30 to 35 degree swings in temperature between the days and the evenings. It's been incredible. I mean, it's been 90 degrees during the day and then it's dropping down all the way to like 50, 55 degrees temperatures. It, it's just, it's nuts. So some of the side effects of that um, has not only been having the worms, you know, slow down in their feeding, but bin one has become a bounty of mushrooms for the second week in a row. Um, it's a mushroom farm. And as you can see here, I mean, not only is it loaded full of mushrooms, but look at how dark the materials are that they're starting to work through. And listen, mushrooms love wood. They chow down on wood like crazy, and cardboard is nothing more than wood paper. So it doesn't surprise me that they're going to town on the materials in there. Um, but you also see that uh, all that dark, dusty looking stuff on the rim of the bin on the inside and on the outside. Yeah, that's not good. Those are spores. Uh, you don't want to be huffing those things. But it gave me an idea. And what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to take some of those spores. I'm going to collect them onto some brown paper napkins. And I'm going to try putting them around different spots in my yard where I've got like a tree stump from my old jackwood tr uh, jackfruit um, tree. Um, I've got a, a huge clump of bamboo shards that are still just sticking up out of the ground that have been chopped down years ago and my compost pile that I'm getting ready to reboot here in the next few days or so. I'm going to see if I can't maybe get some of those spores to sprout and take root and start to grow into some of these different areas of my yard. Um, it just goes hand in hand with the remediation effort that you know I'm undertaking right now. So that's what I'm going to try to do with some of these spores from Ben 1. And as such, I'm not going to leave, I'm going to leave bin one alone for right now. And tonight we're going to check in on the worms, both in bins two and three, and they're going to get a nice big fat feeding of a papaya here, which I'm also going to harvest the seeds from that I'm going to use later on for a banana circle, which is going to become a papaya circle uh, later on in my yard. So that's what's going on this week. Let's dig in and check out the worms. All right. Week 22, bin two. Now, see this? The fungal benefits from bin one already showing themselves. Actually, what this means is that the worms in certain areas are not very active, and so these guys are cropping up, which is okay. Again, we're still here in the cooler part of the year because of the evenings, oh wow. Okay. I think what I'm also gonna do, in addition to adjusting the feeding, um, and by that I mean, I'm not going to use any of Bin 1 tonight in our feeding. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to be adding half of that papaya. And I know what you're thinking, dude, are you sure you want to do that? Yes, I am. I know it's going to get wet, but you know what? It's okay, because we're going to put some things in place to try to help that out a bit. But as you can see, yeah, they, they definitely have not gone to town completely on the foods that are already in here. And in fact, I think what I'm going to do... So I'm going to put one of these in bin three, so maybe we'll set this one aside. But going down a little bit further, there's plenty of worms here in the feeding zone. And this is this guy right here. Oh, well, there's the cucumber. I did not split it in half. It uh, looks to have been worked that way. I mean, I did put my fingers through it. To loosen it up. Yeah, there's a there's an area down here where they've begun to attack it. That's good. There's our onion. It's <laughs> still trying to take root. Look at that, it's growing. <laughs> we can get a flower and um, maybe some bulbs and some seeds. But uh, yeah, there's there's still some worms on it too. That's hilarious. But this is gonna be our feeding zone for the papaya. There's our mango pit. On it really. So what it's going to require is some paper and some bedding just to kind of balance things out because otherwise it's going to get wet. It's already wet down here just from the cucumber, but cucumber is an extremely wet vegetable, which is part of the reason why I didn't want to split it up into pieces just yet. I mean, you can see I've got a lot of worms here in this area, and a lot of that is um, the remnant cucumber from the other side here that appears to have been worked through since last week, which is good. So they're gonna have a, a lot of food in here and it's gonna give me a chance to uh, 
explore some possibilities with those mushrooms in bin one. That's actually going to be kind of cool to see if uh, after I get the mushrooms out of bin one, some of their spores and put them around my garden. It's a nice size baby. Uh, to see if maybe I can't get some of those mushrooms to spread around, spread around my garden. And then I will just bring whatever it is that's still left from bin one and start putting it back again in bins two and three. And it looks like a lot of what we brought over from bin one, it's still here, but not, uh, not as recognizable as it was last week. Okay, so there's our depth. The other thing I'm gonna do after I put this feeding in is I'm going to leave the leaf cover only on one side of the bin this time, going to the midpoint where the feeding zone is. And the reason for that is I wanna to try to dry out some of this material, and maybe encourage the worms to migrate from this area over into the more warm, moist, food-based areas that we're putting together right now. Hopefully that'll work, we'll see. But uh, let me get some paper put in here and some bedding, and I'll be right back. All right, so first some paper. It's just straight brown paper, nothing special. No mushroom down there. Some shredded up stuff. This will just help with absorbing it's going to come from the papaya and the other materials, the other foods. I think that's good enough. One half of a papaya. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and put our other stuff back in. This one I'm going to set aside for bin three. I'll leave him here for now. Onion can go back over here. Probably could have put a little bit more bedding on top of it as well, but actually we wanted to act more as an absorbent than anything else, which I know it now will. Alright. Almost forgot the mango pit. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this side over here uncovered hopes that worms on this side will start to migrate over into the middle of the food and the other, other, um, the other areas of the bin. Will that work? I don't know. We shall see. We'll do everything I can to take advantage of the cold weather at night right now. And I think with leaving the leaf cover off this side and uh, just bringing it over to this one side here, that might actually help. We'll see. All right, that is going to do it. That is it for Ben 2. I want to thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you have, please do like and share it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet and hit the bell notification icon if you would so that you can be alerted when I upload new content. And listen, wherever you are in this world today or tonight, you take care. Bye for now.